Good afternoon, everyone. How are you? This is Gerard Fairley. I have another video for you today. Um, part two, actually, to the first one we did a few days ago regarding um, how to get cars, the cheapest cars. Cheapest cars, not necessarily at the dealer auction, but are from distressed buyers. Uh, distressed buyer is just simply a person who wants to get rid of the car quickly for whatever reason. So they're distressed. You know, they need, they need money and any cash, or they got to get rid of it because they're moving, whatever the reason. Many times it's any cash right away. And so what I found is that you can usually get better deals this way. And I'm going to show you how to do it with Craigslist. Again, you can do it with any medium, any uh, network. Craigslist has a lot of people on it, so I reach for Craigslist first. You want to go into your local area and click on um, Wanted. Where is it? Wanted, 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 Wanted. Here you go, down here, wanted. And this is basically where people put, you know, anything that they're looking for, they're willing to pay money for, right? For instance, you see right here, a person's, you know, trying to get iPhones. Other people are willing to, you know, cat, junk, cars, etc., whatever. But the bottom line is that people who are looking to pick up some extra bucks, they'll come here and they'll see what's being offered. Oh, they'll do a search. They'll do a search. So, you know, they'll, they'll do a search. Cars. Anyway, I have an ad that I put together already. This is why I basically use a version of this. Right? Uh, you want to have a nice headline. You can even get some emojis and put in there. But, you know, let's get a nice headline. I have $3,500 cash right now for your car in good condition. And so you decide... um the dollar value is you're going to spend on your vehicle. You don't want anything too cheap because you're going to have to put money into it to fix it up. And, uh, you know, now you don't tell the person that you're only offering dealer trading in your ad. You don't say that in your ad at all. You want to just get people to contact you. You don't give out too much information. Just what's necessary to get relevant responses back. And so, um, I'm logged into a, a live account, right? Just showing you some of my other, other Z Black card. But let's stay focused. Hmm. Um, okay, I'm in Atlanta. You can do this in your own local area, it doesn't matter, right? Of course, you're going to do it in your local area. You want local people. Now, you're going to go into uh, its community. Let's go back. Let's go back. I'll see what what do they call this? Oh, it's for sale. It's a for sale category. Okay, sorry. Sorry, guys. This is live. It's live. Um, I don't do this too often. I've done it, you know, back in the day, but I don't do it too often now. But works very well. Works very well. And you get people emailing you within Craigslist for their car. And you come right here, just post. Uh, for sale. Oh, wait, am I, am I, oh, here we go. Wanted. There you go. Hmm. You change some stuff around a little bit. All right, so there we go. Um, yeah, that's it. I can pick it up today. You want a person who's ready like now, now, uh, right? Put the zip code in there, whatever the area is, whatever zip code. And you can put up a couple of ads and vary the zip codes. Um, you shouldn't have to, though. You know, one ad is generally going to get you 20, 30 uh, responses in a day's time. And you can just, if that's not enough for you, do it again two days later. Bottom line is you want a lot of ads, people to respond back here. So you have the ability to sift through and select what you want. Now, your criteria is going to be cars that you can make a few thousand dollars on because the dealer trade-in right, is low enough versus the retail value. You don't have to put any picture. right? Don't put a phone number. You're going to get text, all kind of crazy text and everything. You know, the person who's serious... They'll reply back, you know, 
And that's the best. I found that's the best way to do it. You put a phone number in here, you're going to get text. It'll drive you crazy. So this is very simple. Um, I'm looking for a good travelable car. I have cash right now. Be serious. I can pick up the car today. Um, send me the car make, model, and year, and I will send you my offer. And what you want to do now is you're going to go into Kelly Blue Book or wherever you want to go and look up the dealer trade-in. Whatever car a person sends you, you know, is a Chevrolet Malibu or it's a Toyota Camry. Toyota is the um is the make. Camry is the model, and then whatever year they give you, you look it up in Kelly Blue Book and you find out what the dealer trade-in is. And you offer them that amount of money. And you send them a link so they can see, hey, this is what this is the trade-in. You won't get more much more than that. They'll get maybe some more if they hold out, but you want people who've been trying to sell their car for a while, right? And they're tired, they need the money, and they will respond. They'll respond back to this ad when they see this ad. They'll respond. And now you're able to take this kind of money and get a car undervalued, undervalued, way undervalued, as if they were to take their car to a dealer. And a dealer gives them next to nothing. So those are the kind of cars you're trying. And again, don't put that in here. You just send the link back when you respond back. And there will always be someone who will say, great, come get it. That's what you want. That's it. It's a numbers game, but you'll always find a deal. Now, again, this is to get, this, this is if you want just basic cars, cars. You're not looking for specific cars. You want just cars you can buy cheap and resell. If you're looking for specific cars, then you, go, of course, have to go to the auctions for that, where you can search inventory. All right? So if you want to get started, and you need to see some cars, this is the way to do it. Long video, Gerard Fairley. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Let's close this out.